Oh, dear Lord God, we just ask your blessing on this word, Lord, on this devotion, Lord God, about the man Gideon. And Lord God, the heart that he started with, Lord, how, Lord God, he wanted to serve you and how he couldn't understand how godly people could be oppressed. Oh, Lord God, I just pray that you would guide and work in each and every one of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome, everyone to this devotion on our prayer journey. Today, I want to talk about a man, Gideon. Gideon is a man who said, when God came, who, me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? A simple man, a man like you, or a woman, it could be a woman, anybody, plain Jane, plain Mike, comes to him and says, O mighty man, let me read the verse to you. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thou, mighty man of valor. God comes to this man who is hiding in a cave and he's threshing his wheat because the enemy was coming at harvest time and stealing all of their food. And the Lord Jesus, it appears, or at least an angel of the Lord, appeared to him and says to him, O oh, mighty man of valor. And, you know, it, it's Gideon is like in shock. Who, me? Are you kidding me? It's not like when somebody says, are you talking to me? No, it's who, me? Why? Why Why me? And Gideon said unto him, O Lord, if the Lord be with us, he makes it more general, why has all these things befallen us? And all the miracles which our fathers told us of, saying, did not the Lord bring us out of Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us. You see, what happened was the nation of Israel moved far away from God. In Judges 1, 1, it says, Why? The children did evil in the sight of the Lord. In Judges 1, 7, it says, Why? And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, the prayed and God heard. That's why. That was why they fell into trouble. And when they prayed, God heard. And he picks a man and comes to that man and says, and this could be a woman. You can come to anybody, God, and say, oh, mighty woman of valor. And you're going to say, who, me? Maybe God's calling you to a ministry. Maybe God's laid on your heart something. And I, I know the feel of this is true when you brings you to tear, not because you want to do it, but because you ache to do it. It's a pain because you're not doing it. So God comes to who he chooses, and he is going to make Gideon a mighty man of valor, a strong man for God. And I'm going to, you know, some people may not know this story. So let me tell you, I'm going to tell you the way I did it for the kids. Because it's a, simpith, a simple story. And it applies to each and every one of us clay vessels that are filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, Gideon amassed a big army because God helped him. And then God told him, cut this thousands and thousands of man army down to just a few. First, he says, whoever's afraid, leave. How many soldiers would leave? <laughs> they left. Then he said, that's too, still too many people. I want you to pick just 300. And here's how you're going to do it. Let them go down to the water. And whoever laps up the water like a dog, take them. And he goes with 300 men. So I gave the kids a cup. One of those red cups that they sell in the store, dollar store. 
And I gave them a dollar flashlight with batteries in it. And I told them, put the cup over the uh, flashlight. And then when I cried out, the sword of the Lord and Gideon open up and let the light shine. You know, it's an amazing thing. For some reason, the enemy was in the valley, which makes no sense. Gideon and his 300 were circling the valley. They shined the light all at once. It created a panic in the camp, thinking that the enemy was upon them. And they yelled out, the sword of the Lord and Gideon. And in a dark camp, no electric lighting, no battery lights, they slew each other and then headed for the only way out of the valley in which the Israel soldiers raised up at the middle of the night, came and destroyed them. And here's the picture I gave the kids, and here's the picture I give you. Let your little light shine. If you have to do it alone, do it alone. But boy, when Christians do it together, there could be a great victory. Go out and seize this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.